What's up guys? It's William here. It's 7.45. Around that. Just been showering here at uh, Opdal's Porton. Just uh, making a quick tour about the truck. I don't believe it's any problem here. Just been showering. And uh... Yeah, now it's just to uh, make some air. Oh, no, I already did that, so it's leaking a little bit air here actually. Ah, uh, used the problem. There, between the axles. Maybe you can look it up later. But a lot of sun today. So much different than last week. With so much rain. So much rain. Ugh. Anywho, let's fire this baby. So now that's fixed and we can go to the delivery address. That's around 10 minutes away. I don't know the exact location, but I caught the guys in front and I got a pretty good description of how it should look. And even if I drive past it in Obdal itself, you can turn easily around. So it's not big village. So. I decided to do a quick check on the foot before turning into this, but it doesn't really matter if I drive here in forwards or backwards. So I decided to drive in forwards so we can, uh, with the help of someone, drive out of it backwards. Yeah. Time to loosen up the straps. Because I got two shipments, sort of the same, I have to pay attention that I deliver the right goods. Um, I got held by some papers on the load who was saying which is for who. Otherwise it'd just be a big, big puzzle.
I have to say that went better than expected. Time for putting the last things away, checking the straps, <laughs> the box is not too tight, and off we can go. Like I said earlier, uh, I asked one of the guys to take a look when I drive backwards so I'm not bumping in anybody. Um, yeah, uh, I got a little <laughs> overexcited with this trailer and or the steering. I tried to make the turn here and so I got on the good side of the road, um, but that was a big no go. <laughs> well, I, c I could probably make it, but then I have to steer in with the the manual function and that's not really necessary so I take on the left and then yeah then we'll do it like a small tour to Tron time. It's around 120 kilometers. Takes me around one two hours. Um,
I make a quick stop in Sokdal. It's a little village. Uh, I have a meet here. I meet here with my friend Thomas. It's a uh, by pure coincidence that also Kevin the Kruiter is here. He drives for Venus Transport. The uh, the, the red trucks you see on the picture. Uh, he's from the Netherlands as well, and lives here in Norway. Oh, no, so he lives here in Norway for quite a while now. So it's uh, yeah, it was quite nice. After some ice cream, I drive the last piece of Tron time. The street where I have to be isn't there yet, um, because it's a new location and street probably. <laughs> so I meet up with a guy who's gonna bring me to the location. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> the well is still pointing out because it's not finished here. But I fix it with the manual steering.
The guys here are waiting on the crane. A um, little bit in a hurry now. So uh, I took off the cha change. <laughs> I took off the straps pretty fast, and well, after that I got some time left to make a video of um, the guys hanging in the crane. So that's pretty cool.
So that is it, and I think that's pretty cool, especially when they hang in the crane. It's so precisely worked. It's yeah, pretty awesome. Never saw it before, so yeah, it was quite nice to see it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this trip. Um, and I'll be back pretty quick, I think. Yeah, I got some great new videos coming up, so I hope you see me, watch me there. Uh, subscribe, like, I don't know. Follow me on Instagram and see you next time. Bye bye.